Hey, what's up guys? It's Tony and today Apple has released iOS 12 to the general public. And in this video, we're not only going to talk about all the new features found within iOS 12, but also how this release impacts the world of jailbreaking. Also, what we can kind of expect from the jailbreaking community going forward and when we can anticipate a brand new jailbreak for iOS 12. Now, there are so many things at play here. So before we get into all the nitty gritty details, don't forget to like, subscribe and check out the dynamic link below to stay up to date on the latest jailbreaking information, news, updates and jailbreak tutorials. All right, now with all that said, let's get directly into iOS 12 and some of the latest and greatest features that it comes with. All right, so iOS 12, the whole point of it is performance. So the very first thing I wanted to do was run a Geekbench test, and that is the score that I received. Now, if we compare this to iOS 11, this is 11.4 or 11.3.1, excuse me, but you can see the major differences, not so much in the single core, but definitely in the multi-core, which will help when you're doing really intensive uh, computing processes and using really graphics intensive games as well. So those scores right off the bat just look absolutely incredible. Now a great resource to discover iOS 12 is actually this main page directly from Apple discussing some of the major new features with iOS 12. And of course, first and foremost, we have performance. It's faster and more responsive with smoother animations. Apps launch up to 40% faster. It launches the keyboard faster and even swiping to the camera from the lock screen opens up 70% faster. So if you guys are not intending on jailbreaking, I would highly advise to upgrade to iOS 12 almost immediately because regardless of whatever device you are running, you will see a major performance increase, especially with the older devices like the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6. So next up we have FaceTime or more so group FaceTime with the ability to make calls with 32 people simultaneously. Now this feature is not available on launch actually, but it will be coming in a future update to iOS 12. This feature however was available in beta and it just looks absolutely incredible. I can't wait until that one is actually rolled out. Now as a side note, I did a couple videos about some of the major features on iOS 12 um, where I got into using live live filters and emojis and memojis text effects and all that directly within FaceTime so that does work on launch day so next up and along the same lines within the messages app directly you have the ability to create a memoji and use your memoji directly within the messages app um, creating awesome effects and using filters um, to send to your friends. Now another awesome feature within iOS 12 is screen time which allows you to understand how you're using your phone and view some awesome data about that as well and you can also see how other family members are using their devices as well. Now another awesome one as well within iOS 12 is group notifications. So when you receive a bunch of notifications from one app like IMDB is just blowing up my phone, instead of just having this cluster of notifications and bombarding you basically, now it is in a group like that. You can just tap on it to view them all. You can show less. Um, you can open it directly right there or you have these awesome options right here to clear all view or you can actually manage the notifications directly from that app right from the lock screen as well so another major focus again with apple is with augmented reality ar kit 2 is coming to ios 12 which allows for some awesome things it's higher resolution it allows you to play ar games with friends um, and just some major updates as well. Also, we have a new app that comes stock with iOS 12 called the Measure app. And I also went into this in that other video as well, but basically it's a default stock AR app directly from Apple. And I highly suggest that you guys check that out. That was pretty cool as well. Now, another major focus is within the Photos app. If I just go ahead and launch this guy up, um, as you guys can see, the bottom bar right here has been entirely redesigned. Now you actually have a search tab directly on the bottom and supposedly it's a lot more intuitive and lets you search between your photos 
uh, a lot easier. And while all these improvements are nice, it still just blows my mind that when you move a photo from the camera roll to an album, it doesn't remove it from the camera roll. It just makes the Photos app entirely cluttered and a pain in the butt to use. I really don't use it that much. I use Google Photos still, and I will say this was an improvement to the stock Photos app, but in my opinion, it's really not uh, anything um, revolutionary, unfortunately. We have a couple new features with the camera app as well, improved portrait lighting um, and things like that for devices that support it. Surrey also is getting a little bit smarter, um, especially with the new app called Surrey Shortcuts. I'm not sure if that's going to be available at some point today, but that will be an app that you can download from the App Store, allowing you to create customizable Surrey commands based on your needs. So you can say, hey Surrey, it's time for bed and she can start an alarm, she can open up a Spotify playlist, and she can turn your Philips Hue lights off. For example, all in one fell swoop with one command. So I'm really excited to see what this app looks like in person. I've yet to even check this out, but there's a lot of options um, with Surrey, new privacy uh, and security updates as well. There are four app updates, Apple Books, Stocks, Apple News, and Voice Memos got a nice redesign. And as you guys can see, even more new CarPlay navigation and a bunch of other stuff with iOS 12. So that's just an overview from Apple of some of the new features with iOS 12. About the only thing I didn't see their main page discuss is the detailed battery usage that got some major updates as well, which looks pretty sweet. And there's also new screenshot annotations as well um, that you can play around with. Furthermore, speaking of screenshots, now when you go to open up your device, it's a lot harder to accidentally take a screenshot. So a lot of people accidentally press the volume buttons and the power button at the same time to wake their device. But as you guys can see, no screenshot was taken there. So that's a major feature that I really like in iOS 12. So there's no more just accidental screenshots when you're opening up your device. Another awesome feature that I felt was worth noting is now when you enter the multitasking pane, you can actually just begin to swipe up and close out of the apps that you were previously in as well. So that just is an awesome, nice quality of life change from Apple. Anyway guys, that's just a general overview of all that iOS 12 has to offer and bring. Of course, I couldn't go into every single little detail about iOS 12 or we would be here forever. Anyway, let's get into the main portion of this video talking about how iOS 12 impacts the world of jailbreaking. Now, one of the great things is if you guys recall a few weeks ago, we made a video about an iOS 12 beta kernel exploit. Now the great thing about this is in this case it was not released yet before iOS 12 is released to the public. So this exploit in question is still a zero day undisclosed exploit, meaning it's likely it still exists in the public version that was released today. But this right here by itself is a major step towards an iOS 12 jailbreak again. This is not the entire jailbreak utility or all the exploits required by any means, but this is the cream of the crop. This is the main exploit needed. We need kernel read and write access in order to do things like install Cydia and install tweaks and have them run in the jailbroken state. So there's already been an iOS 12 kernel exploit created. Granted, like I said, it has yet to be released. Hopefully we may see either this developer or another developer come to the scene. Maybe Ian Beer will make a return and release information about an iOS 12 exploit. In any case, now that iOS 12 has been released to the public, this is the firmware that developers are going to target when jailbreaking. Now for those of you on iOS 11.4 to 11.4.1 stuck in that tweener phase where you don't have a jailbreak and now iOS 12 is out. Will you guys be getting a jailbreak before one comes out for iOS 12? And really, no one knows. There really is no ETA on when an iOS 12 jailbreak comes out. In theory, if a jailbreak or a kernel exploit or anything is made for iOS 12, it in theory should be backwards compatible for iOS 11.4 to 11.4.1. But again, that is not always the case. In any sense, it's looking more and more likely that we could get an iOS 12 jailbreak before one for iOS 11.4 to 11.4.1. Again, like I said, this is all speculation. Really, there is no concrete information we have right now that either iOS 12 or 11.4, 11.4.1 is going to be jailbroken anytime soon. Again, we have to have a kernel exploit. We have to have other exploits like escaping the sandbox and getting past all the hardware protection on the phone. We have to have somebody come along and put all these exploits into a utility 
So guys, we are months away from receiving iOS 12 jailbreak. So if you are jailbroken on iOS 11.3.1 or something like that, definitely stay there until we have more information. iOS 12, which just released, we have a great start on it but we are nowhere near to the point of receiving a public jailbreak utility. Now, one more thing I wanted to talk about was Coolstar's tweet regarding the iPhone XS, XR, and XS Max. He says, if you're planning to jailbreak, don't buy them. If UTRR, which is the new hardware protection on those new devices, he says, if it's as effective as it seems, jailbreaking is dead, starting with these devices. Basically, I just wanted to clarify this information a little bit. That was a bit of an overreaction and an overstatement. Yes, the UTRR is a new hardware protection on the new devices, being the XS, XS Max, and XR. It will be a new challenge and obstacle for the jailbreak community to overcome, but that does not mean by any means it's impossible. People said the exact same thing about the iPhone 7, and sure, it did take over a year to get an iOS 10 jailbreak for it. There's actually an iOS 11 one after that, but new devices like the iPhone 10 that received a jailbreak in just two months. So I'm very hopeful to see what the future brings as far as this goes. Other developers as well are reiterating kind of what I was just saying, saying it just takes time essentially to get past these new security protections. Even IB Sparks, the developer of the Meridian jailbreak was saying, if you can't bypass code sign, then the only thing that's dead is you releasing another jailbreak. So that was a little bit of a stab right there, but um, still, in any sense, Coolstar is on his game, getting Celio ready for the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. Again, all of this is just being worked on in his past time, but now that iOS 12 is out, that doesn't stop any progression with this new package installer being created. So I'm really excited to see what this final product looks like. This might actually add some fuel to the fire in creating an iOS 12 jailbreak and getting this running on iOS 12. Anyway, one last thing I wanted to talk about was regarding my video yesterday about the Safari DOS bug that is still present in the iOS 12 Golden Master Edition. Now, when iOS 12 is released to the public today, I'm guessing users on that GM build are going to receive a minor update patching that. If not, we may be receiving iOS 12.0.1 very soon to patch that bug as well. As far as iOS 11.4.2, I'm not entirely sure if Apple's even going to bother patching an update for iOS 11, as almost every device on iOS 11 can upgrade to iOS 12. It's just amazing to see that how many years of support the iPhone 5S has received with new firmware updates and such. Anyway guys, I hope this video was interesting. I hope you learned something. Hope you're excited as I am for a potential iOS 12 jailbreak. In any case, have fun exploring iOS 12. Let me know down in the comment section what your favorite feature of it was from today's video. In the end, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Yeah.